hello guys welcome to forex trading strategies so in this video i'll be explaining some things to us about the new upgraded uh boom and crash scalping setup so uh, I, I created two videos on it already you can see this and this so in the first video i explained how we can use it to trade the the boom where this second one is based on how we can use it to trade the crash alone so i have so many people messaging me and asking me some questions regarding how they can use it and all of that so i just picked out of the questions i picked five uh, important that covers all the basics of the of how to use the setup so i'll be answering you i'll be answering the question right before you guys today okay so if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell and do not forget to join my telegram channel so i'll drop the link to the telegram channel in the description section below so let's head into our video so first we have to go to where the questions are uh, sorry yeah, i don't mean to play this so first we have to go to where the questions are then we'll move on to to our meta trader okay so our question is here so this is another question and answer session so the first question is when is the right time to place a trade so if you are using this setup when is the right time to place a trade so we we'll just head on to our meta trader 5 and check some things okay so as you can see here this is crash 500 and i'm in, i'm using the five minute time frame so i can i can use one there's no problem about that okay so but what is more important is that what is this dashboard saying what is the trend of the market you can see from five minutes to four hour they are all full of downtrend one two three four five so it is dominated with downtrend so this means there will be more of downtrend in the market than the uptrend so for example let's switch to a bigger time frame a bit okay so you can see you can see from this point till you here that is a slope that is all downtrend like 10 bars downward okay it says how many bars 72 bars but there are some some spike in between so you can see that is series of downtrend and we don't trade the downtrend in crash we are only particular about the uptrend so this so there will be some signals for example we can see the red arrow is out and the spike is not out yet but we have the red arrow which signifies that there's going to be a crash okay so and we are in downtrend so we don't have to risk entering trade like this you check your trend to confirm the the magnitude of the direction of the market so the whole uh, of uh, the five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour and four hours they are all going on downtrend so we'll be having more of the downward movements than the upward movement so you can see the upward movement we are having they are very very small you can see we have small one there's a spike here we have to here there is spike we have two candles here we have one 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 we have five or six we have six four five candles here there's there is a crash we have four here that's crash so there are a lot of crashes and you see the arrow is out already again that there will be crash so it is very very important that we know how to check the market trend this market trend will help us a lot because when we enter at the wrong time it won't be good you can see this good trend now this good upward trend so if you have checked your your dashboard earlier and you've seen the direction of the market then you now wait for the indication of the uh, indication of this histogram right here as i've explained it okay if you don't know how to read this histogram and how to combine it with your arrow and your dashboard so you can check other videos that i've created okay i've created two previous videos i also dropped their link in the description section so you can just grab them easily and watch them to catch up with us if you've not watched it before okay so when you check the trend you will know when to enter the market you'll know the direction in which the market is facing so that you don't trade against the the market trend okay so that answered your question so there's no the best part the best time to enter is to check the trend first and know where the market is going before you place your trade okay that one will give you more peace of mind okay so that has answered your first question i guess so let's check the second question what is the second question saying can this indicator be used to catch spike so many people are asking me a question that look like spike detector and all of that can they use it to catch spikes okay so the answer is yes 
but there is a but yes but now for example let's 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 move on to the to the front okay so there's an arrow here the arrow came out at this candle that there will be a crash there is possibility a slim possibility that if the market is having a reverse and it breaks the 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 support level if you should break the support or resistance level then it will keep going up okay there will be spike there will be crash or spikes eventually but you might not be able to pick the exact candle when the spike will happen that is why i tell people that have this indicator on hand that to trade the spike with this indicator you must have a sizable capital you don't go and start trading spikes with 50 dollar or with 10 dollar or with 30 dollar just in case if there is no indicator that will give you the exact size exact candle that the spike will happen and it will be 100 percent perfect if it is that if it is that possible then we should be making millions daily so it will only tell you the region where the spike can happen so just in case the price action breaks the support or resistance level then you need to open more position so that when the spikes happen the the recent ones you open will recoup your loss and you'll be in profit that is how you trade the spikes with this indicator so if you want to trade the spikes you must have you must have a sizable capital okay so that's i think that also should answer the second question okay so let's check the third question so the third question is how do i find the indicator okay so i have so many people messaging me that uh that they have that they don't know how to find the indicator that the settings and the setup to bring out this exact uh interface that they can't find it that they've checked through the the indicator list and you know to, to to add your indicator you just click on insert indicators then these are the general ones under the trend oscillators and all of that so and these are some custom ones so they thought they will see it here that they check the list that they couldn't find it now this indicator is not uh, a, a default indicator that comes with metatrader or any platform this is a custom indicator okay it is specially designed okay for it for a, for a specific purpose so if you need to get your hands on this indicator you must purchase it summer summer okay so it's either you purchase it or you you have someone that has it at hand and gives you a copy if it is not licensed okay because some of them are licensed so to get unlicensed one can be very very costly at times okay so this indicator is not a free or default indicator okay this is a custom indicator so and if you want to get your hands on it it's either you have someone that has it at hand that is willing to give you for free or you get it from um maybe a kind of site that you pay license monthly or you purchase it whichever way is going to cost you something okay so now let's head to the next question so the next question is how much can i make with this indicator people do ask that question and i think it's a bit funny when you ask how much can i make with this indicator now there's no limit to your earning okay your earning potential with the indicator or with trading is limitless but you must be very careful of how you trade okay you must have your own target daily targets and the like so and if you're not able to meet up to it maybe the market is bad then you leave the fight for another day okay it's as simple as that so let's assume we check the market trend like this morning so we check the market trend and we have more of downtrend in the crash you can't force yourself into it so if you go ahead and check the boom you can see we still have some uptrend in the boom so you can't really force yourself into such market so you wait for the right time before you enter the market and if the right time doesn't come along easily then you might not have much trade that day okay so that way you cannot really uh, pick an amount that you must keep to regularly every time that it must happen although you can choose an average that is why i always advise people to use to have a, a realistic daily target okay a realistic daily target so i think that will answer your question so your earning potential is limitless but you must check the market okay so if you earn 20 dollars today tomorrow you earn 100 okay it's still adding up the other day you earn 50 you earn 30 it's still adding up so it keep applying up like that and you are in profit okay so your earning potential is limitless 
And one more thing is, people do ask, how much can this indicator make? How much have you made with it? Can I see an account? Can I have a, 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 a kind of ad admin password? Can I have investor password to see if it's really making money? This is not a robot. The indicator doesn't trade on your behalf. So if you have seen an account to see some trade, how would you know if it's in the indicator that the guy used to analyze the chart and pick the trade? Okay, so those kind of questions like that won't really help you know, the kind of analysis you want to have about the indicator. Okay, so this is an indicator you use it to analyze the chart, then you pick your trade yourself. It doesn't trade on your behalf. Okay, so now let's move to the next question. I think that is beef. That will be the last question. Yeah, what is the best strategy with this indicator? What is the best strategy with this indicator? So uh, most of the time people do ask me that what is my best strategy now for those that purchase my my trading courses it comes with many strategies like three four five or thereabouts but the reason why i don't keep it or i don't i don't put one strategy is that a strategy that works well for me might give you a little issue so we are different and at times what we understand differs also so the strategy that works with this best is trying your, your strategies and see the one that works best for you. If you want to be following the arrow, fine. But if you have a daily target so as not to overtrade, because uh, so, some I think when this arrow comes out, the trend will go for this long. So they'll stay in the trade till this point. Now that is over trading. So you must have your own target. So if you have a target that okay. When the arrow, when I check the market trend and I see that it is in the favorable direction, and the indication comes out for opening a trade, then I enter a pick five candles, then I move. I enter a pick five candles, then I move. So whichever time you are trading, that the indication favors you, you are picking five candles. Whichever time you are trading, you are picking five candles. So that is a strategy on its own. Okay. So it depends on your own strategy. Now the strategy is not restricted to daily target. And the numbers of candles alone it is restricted also to how much or uh, it's not restricted to daily targets and numbers of candles alone okay it is restricted to how much you want to make how long do you want to stay in profit and how where well are you trading okay so you don't over trade so that is one major point so when you combine all of this together you will be in profit you will be in profit now it will be very unrealistic to have a target of making 200 per day and you want to keep that going for a month it is very very unrealistic you can achieve it yes sure you can achieve it only if you have sizable capital only if you have sizable capital okay so it is better you trade every time and stay in profit than to have unrealistic targets then rush your trade then trade impulsively then you trade based on assumption that i think it will reach this point before it jumps up there's no i think in trading it is pure analysis you analyze then you see the clear indication before you enter okay so this is uh, th this has to do with money and no one wants to lose money so you must be very very cautious when you are dealing with this kind of trade okay so thank you guys i think this will bring an end to this question and answer our uh, session for this for today so if you have any question regarding how you can get your hands on the the whole indicator setup the setup contains this dashboard this arrow signal this line and this histogram down here if you want to get your hands on it feel free to contact me okay so i hope you guys make a lot of profits and bye for now